Howdy partner, I hope you have a grain free, corn free, Angus Prime day. And this first comment needs a little bit of context. So for those of you that missed Monday's video, I was eating some lamb testicles and one of them had this growth or cyst and it was like oozing pus. The first and only time Frank has been grossed out by a white liquid from a testicle. Hey, do, boys, don't get too excited. I know, I know you boys fantasize in every single video. Even some of you girls are fantasizing about this stuff, but it doesn't happen. Frank looks like he stuck a fork in a light socket. He's got a 1970s afro. <laughs> you know, I keep telling you guys I really don't like the long hair. It's hard to maintain. The girls aren't looking at me anymore. I'm not getting any punani. Uh, you guys keep telling me that, oh, Frank, the long hair looks good. I'm inclined to believe a month or two from now, you guys are going to start implying, oh, Frank, it would look pretty good if you're wearing a dress or something along those lines. Not going to happen either. I could see Frank being into water sports. Frank, can you piss on me? Girl, sure. <laughs> Pissing begins. Wow, great taste. Kind of gamey. Of course, it's an excellent source of vitamin A. The piss just splashing off his pearly white teeth <laughs> proceeds to rub it into his armpits. Helps the body absorb iodine. I, I mean, I'm not quite sure the conversation would go like that, but um, we'll see. The atrazine in my local raw milk is what made me gay. I got Amish milk and it made me extra straight and I plowed my wife like never before. It's crazy how chemicals can turn you from straight to craving black men to plow your bosom. Don't drink the tap water, kids. Uh, so atrazine is an estrogenic herbicide uh, that's usually associated with feedlot meats, you know, beef, pork, and chicken. And Amish are a group of people that raise their animals in a very natural way. But buddy, I don't think one day of atrazine is going to turn you into a fairy boy. Uh, so you might want to explore that further. Frankie's Free Range Meat is a real company. Mike's Free Range Meat is not. It's just me playing with my ding dong in a field. Guys, this is like genuinely one of the funniest and most creative comments I've seen on my channel. That one uh, really brightened up my day. I walked past two meth heads the other day. Turns out that they weren't meth heads. They were just vegans. And yeah, you could argue that most people look unhealthy, but all of these vegans look like they're wasting away from some type of rare cancer. I spend all morning gagging on raw meat, but feel amazing all day. If I were gay, it'd be the ultimate workout for prepping to give blowjobs. Well, buddy, if that's the first thing you think about when you're eating your raw carnivore diet in the morning, I hate to break it to you, but uh, welcome to the Fairy Boy Club. What I really love to do here is just... Durian. Tastes terrible. Smells like shit. Looks gross. Difficult to open. Spikes on the outside to deter handling. Only found in certain climates and areas. Vegans. We were meant to live off this. <laughs> this is pretty true. If you guys have ever seen someone attempt to open a durian, they got these really thick gloves on, they have a machete, like three different tools to open it, and that doesn't even show, you know, the 50 to 100 feet the person had to climb to get the durian off the tree if it was right. It's Completely ludicrous, uh, but vegans have to justify their love of animals. Frankie, it's more likely no one wants to collab with you because you are a fairy snowflake who has had jaw reconstructive surgery for the primary reason of ability to insert more penis into mouth. Guys, when I act flamboyantly gay in my carnivore goes vegan videos, I'm not making fun of gay people. I'm implying that Following a vegan diet has so many estrogenic chemicals in it, in the food, you know, just soy in general, estrogenic properties inherent to the vegan diet that you might start looking at boys, you might start sucking on some bananas, you might start fantasizing about some person named Frank Tofano and be inclined to project your desires onto him. There's an air of truth to what I'm doing as carnivore goes vegan, but you guys saying I got jaw reconstructive surgery to put more penis into my mouth. Like, listen, it's one of the better jokes I've seen on my channel. I mean, but, but you guys aren't really, you know, competing at too high of a level. 
Well, in Elise Parker's defense, she could probably still bench press more than Frank Tofano, so she's not the weakest carnivore. Although Frank Tofano's makeup skills are arguably superior to Elise's. Th these vegans have no creativity whatsoever. It's just, oh, Frank is a weak fairy boy, and oh, Frank wears makeup. That's all you guys talk about. It, it is a little silly, but it it's getting old. Bradley versus Vitaly? Nah. Vegan Gaines versus Jason Blaha? Nah. Frank Tofano versus being weaker than a vegan girl? Yes. When he gets a heart attack in 20 years from now, he's going to blame it on Wi-Fi and cell towers interfering with his heart rhythm. Listen, as much as this is funny, there have literally been examples of people putting Wi-Fi routers and modems next to their chest for just a few minutes and their heart rate will go up. Do this with your laptop, do this with your cell phone, You'll notice this, and hey, 10, 20, 30 years from now, when you guys are living in a five by five foot box, getting blasted by some type of radar, you're gonna be saying, Frankie boy was right, we should've listened to him. Did I just see a carnivore use a knife and fork? This is like the most hypocritical thing a vegan could say. When you're shipping half of your foods from third world countries, when you're blending up every single meal into a smoothie, you know, you're eating seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. The most unrealistic diet you can never follow in most parts of the world when it's winter. Yet they're saying, I can't use a knife and fork because I don't want to eat meat with my hands. I hate to break it to you, cauliflower brains, but I can actually eat every single food during my day without the use of tools. Unlike vegans, I just choose to use them because it's easier, it's more sanitary, and humans are tool users. But when you're arguing the use of a modern blender versus a primitive tool like a knife and a fork, it's just comical. Bro, why the hell does this Frank dude look like a goddamn dollar store Ken doll? I wasn't sure if this was an insult or a compliment, but thank you. His blood test is skewed because of all the makeup. <laughs> I thought I thought this was this is like implying, you know, I have so much makeup on that it's getting transferred into my bloodstream somehow through my pores, but alright. Unfair comparison. Your lab results would be significantly different than a woman's. You know, I thought in our modern acceptive culture, you know, you can't really make fun of someone for being a woman, for being gay for their gender, but I guess it's an exception when I'm some like decent looking white dude, right? Am I the only one who thinks Frank should do a YouTube makeup channel instead? You paint your eyebrows on or something? You look like a jacked lesbian. One thing I think all of these makeup, pretty boy Kendall, you know, whatever makeup comments have in common is you vegans are ashamed and embarrassed to call Frankie, dare I say, pretty, cute, handsome, attractive. Perhaps that his carnivore diet is making him radiant, looking like a Greek statue. And, and I understand, you know, when, whenever these vegan girls approach me in person, they're, they're always mad and angry. They hate, oh, that's Frank Defano, he's such a horrible person. And later that night, we're both eating raw berries and cream off of each other's stomachs. Is that Borat's sister? The reason I put this one in here is because it really illustrates how creative Reddit is. <laughs> we know you're amazing, Frank. These carnivores will probably continue to stalk you because of all the kernels of truth. You know, I usually don't like puns, but this one sat really well with me. Patrick and Brian would be a good matchup, but the real main event in lifting is Frank Tofano and naturally Stephanie. Frank is the one skinny fat kid who thinks he's a bodybuilder. All right, boys. All right, boys. Do I look skinny fat? Do I look skinny fat? Do I? Do these 16 inch pipes, soon to be 17 and a half, 18 inch pipes, look weaker than naturally Stephanie? Give, give me two to three more months. Then, then we'll see who's crunched into a basketball, boys. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, so, thank you guys for joining me. This is a little glimpse of what I get to deal with every day. Although usually it's much more derogatory and not as funny or entertaining. You know, some, some of you guys are, some of you guys are on, on the ball. Definitely on the ball. 
If you could please like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon and share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, definitely check out my new book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. It is available down in the description below. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Fucking punks. Thank you.